Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore. Since last time, I got my bronze spear up to level 3. So that's maxed out, so I can throw it and charge it up and all that kind of good stuff. So let's head on inside and finally finish this place. I'm so sick of it. It's been, what, three episodes now? You had to stand up here, and the boy will automatically throw the spear. You don't need to charge it up or anything else like that. And then head up north. Uh-oh. I hear boss time music! Yikes! Let's go ahead and charge up our spear. And then get hit, of course, because that's just what happens. But this guy's actually pretty easy until he confounds me and confuses me and everything else. Uh, we'll go ahead and cure that Oh, it's not gonna let me? That's lovely. Um, is it not gonna let me just target the dog? Seriously? Okay, there we go. Uh, I do want to go ahead and put speed on both of us. Speed is so helpful for that extra evasion. Um, and just in case, we'll go ahead and put a defend on us as well, because it doesn't raise your magic defense, but it does last longer, so it's always nice to have. Um, what else do I want to do? Let's go ahead and yeah, cure that status ailment on Kringle while we're here. And because I'm not done casting spells yet, let me go ahead and heal myself, because I got hit earlier. Yeah, he likes to use drain. Were we not, viewers? We'll get our own drain soon enough. Yeah, we could be using the basic drain, but I don't want to use anything basic. Bam! Get some nice damage there. Come on. Hula. Huh. You know what? Two can play at that game. I could use a crush on you as well. This guy's really kind of easy, I've got to say. Let's see. Bam! Ooh, only about 400 damage. Okay, let's uh, recast our speed. Oh, lovely. We both got confounded. That's just great. Yeah, might as well cure it. Cure is always nice to have equipped. I know a lot of people don't like to use it. They would rather use the essence item to cure status ailments, but, I mean, I think it's just handy to have, because, you know, what if you run out of essence items? And especially because you, you get status ailments a lot in this game. Okay, defend war off. Let's put that back on. It might be kind of useless to continually have speed and defend on, because they're not really attacking me anyway, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay, got that, uh, confound off again. You know what? This guy's kind of being a pain in the ass. Let's get a crush on him, see how well that does. Yeah, he's gonna crush me, I'm gonna crush him too. Whoa! Mine dealt so much more damage, and the 500s with a crush? Are you kidding me? You could just crush this guy to death. Man! Uh, yeah, let's go with another crush. <laughs> Why not? And let's get a speed going. Hey, we got him. Yeah. So he only has 2,500 HP. So apparently you could just crap or cast crush five times. And you'll be fine. Like, that's it. I thought he died. What are you doing? Are you like back from, from the, are you back from the dead? What is going on there? Wow, that's a bug if I ever saw one. Anyway, let's get out of here. And we need to go back to Horus's camp, so the easiest way to do that is just fall to your doom. Where's Horus? I see Madronius over here. Oh, on the west bank of the river. Um, no, I'm good. Sure, might as well. At this or after this point, he will be un- you will be unable to purchase ingredients from Madronius. Um, the main thing that you want to make sure that you have- I mean, you, you need basic ingredients. This is wax, ash, root. You want a lot of vinegar. Trust me on this. Buy as much vinegar as you possibly can without kind of going over. Um, because vinegar will be hard to come by later. Actually- this episode, Vinegar will be hard to come by because Madronius is the only one who sells it right now, so make sure that you grab it from him while you can. Uh-oh. Who's there? Is that Horus? Did you change your clothes? Why are you in a green getup instead of yellow? Hmm. Huh. Well, yeah, I did. Um... Okay. 
This doesn't sound right. This doesn't sound like Horus or look like Horus. Oh hell, we're completely screwed. Can you disembowel him with your spear? Stab him, Lunky Monkey. <laughs> oh, yikes. Whoa! Holy crap! So that was an evil Horus, and the dog takes care of them in one hit. Thank you. Yeah, no kidding. Hmm. You think? Something devious and diabolical. Why would he go all the way there? Okay, at least the game tells you where to go at this point. Okay, so a couple of things now. Remember this cave for later. I will be meeting you back here. Um, and another thing, just like you want as much vinegar as you possibly can, uh, here you might as well grab as much ethanol as you possibly can as well. Although you can buy ethanol later. Um, oh, okay. But you might as well grab um, a bunch of ethanol as well as a bunch of vinegar. Anyway, with all that being said, I'm going to get out of here and meet you up in Nobilia across the desert. I'm in the Desert of Death, actually, because there is a super secret shortcut that you can use. I always have a really hard time activating this, so hopefully I can get it done. From the first oasis, head up into the left, and then you'll pass this kind of messy rock area. Keep on going. You'll see this other big rock. Go over to the left to here, and then go right next to the rock and head up. And of course, it didn't work for me. Um, I don't know why it works sometimes, and it doesn't work some other times. It's just kind of finicky. I don't really like use- there it goes! Okay, I don't really like using this warp because it is finicky. Um, it's just obnoxious. It... Damn, die! It's just annoying to kind of use. I'd rather just run, to be honest with you, but anyway. That's a warp that you can use. What happened to the marketplace? What's going on here? All the stalls are empty. Again. How unusual. Oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, great. Throw your spear at him! Sick the dog on him! The ancient world? This is the present. Uh-oh. Yikes! Emperor Zorn in Acropolis Apocalypse? <laughs> He's got to be a fan of Mystery Science Theater. Like, there is no way. The, the, the stupid movie titles that he comes up with is just ridiculous. So he brought the sacred dog to life by destroying the sacred dog? What in the world? Whoa! Yeah, go ahead and get some damage in on him. Let's go ahead and get speed going as well. Um, this boss can be rather annoying, but he's not hard. Um, you know what? Actually, let's use an atlas on David as well. Basically, each mask is going to summon different things. This cat-like mask is going to summon these bone buzzards, which are damned annoying. Um, and you want to wait till the mask disappears or flashes before you strike for some nice damage there. Uh, whenever the mask is solid, you can't do anything. Now, this moon mask, let's see if I can't, okay, yeah, I... I hit too late. The moon mask is going to summon uh, what are known as bad dogs, or prehistoric dogs here. So just kind of let the dog wail on all these guys while you try to wail on the, um, on the actual boss itself. Okay, let's try to get another hit in. Woohoo! We got it in! Um, okay, so speed wore off. So let's go ahead and get a crush going on these guys just because they're obnoxious. And let's see, we'll recast our speed. There we go. Get some nice hits in there. This guy has 4,500 uh, HP. Okay, the moon mask is there. He's going to summon some more dogs. Um, but honestly, like, you don't really get hit as long as you have speed on. It's not going to bother you. Bam! Um, there's another mask. Hopefully it will come. It's a mask of the sun. Like an ease. And that is going to summon will-o'-wisps. So, be wary of that. But, honestly, I think that the, um, the buzzards are the worst ones. 
simply because they fly and they dive and they're annoying. Oh, there's that Mask of the Sun, so this is going to summon Will-O-Wisps. Kind of looks like an owl to me. I don't know. It's called a Sun Mask, though, but whatever. Oh, Atlas wore off too? Yeah, we just kind of got to wait for it. Okay, there it goes. Um, oh, great, I missed. Yeah, speed wore off. Let's get speed going. And let's get another Atlas. Wait, nope, 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 not Crush. Although, Crush would be nice. I could use Crush. It wouldn't be a horrible idea to use Crush. Anyway, let's go ahead and charge up. Yeah, I mean, the bosses in this game are unique. We're not getting, like, reskinned cousins, if you know what I mean. But it would be nice if they were... Whoa! 1,000 damage! Where did that come from? Holy crap! Like, I feel like they were really challenging at the very beginning of the game with the Salabog and Thrax and things like that, but now as the game progresses, they just get a tad bit easier. Either that or my alchemy is ridiculously strong. Either way works. Oh, hey, Horus. So Elizabeth had an evil twin and you have an evil twin as well, but your evil twin was a robot? Okay. Oh. Well, what are we going to do? What should we do with it? Oh, he just said, Tiny, I need your strength. Sorry, it went away too fast. We know, we met you before. You look like an action figure. Like, your arms don't look like they belong on your body. <laughs> you know those old action figures, like, from the 80s that you could rip off the arms and rip off the legs and everything? You could, like, put the legs where the arms go and everything? I used to do that kind of stuff with, like... Uh, He-Man dolls and things like that. that. That's just what he looks like. Oh, okay. So, throw this thing away? Whee! Whoa! Oh man, right in the nick of time. Glad that you got rid of that thing. Good lord. No kidding. Oh, hope so too. Yeah, how do we get to Podunk? We got those diamond eyes for you, and you said that you would tell us how to get to Podunk if you... Or if we got them. But you don't know! You've been leading us on this entire time! You suck! Man, you and Elizabeth both led us on. You guys don't know how to get back home. Well, I guess if they did, they would have left 30 years ago. Oh, hey. How did you get here? You crossed this desert all by yourself? Oh. So the explosive hit north of the camp and opened up an entrance to a very large tunnel. Yeah, no kidding. This is why you can't buy ingredients from Madronius. This is why I said to get the vinegar earlier. Hmm. It could, or it couldn't, but I guess it's worth a try. It's worth a shot. Ooh! I've been told that the Staff of Life increases your defense by 10%, so that's always nice to have. Yeah, let's go. Get on out here. And now Horus vanishes. And the marketplace reopens. Um, couple things to note. There, We're gonna have to buy some more stuff in the marketplace, um because there is going to be a trading sequence coming up relatively soon, and if you don't have stuff from here, it'll be, if not impossible, almost impossible to, um, to purchase the stuff that you're going to need. Anyway, go back here. If you used the Atlas spells for the bosses, go ahead and buy up to three as well. Another thing that you're going to want to do is talk to this guy, and uh, he's your item seller. And he sells the cheapest wings in the game. Wings allow you to escape a dungeon. Uh, he sells some cheap dog biscuits too, so you might as well stock up on those. Um, everything else you should be fine on. Um, good. But um, as far as the items that you're going to need to purchase, let's just go through everything. You want the three Atlas amulets. You want the six wings, which I just got. 
You want a jeweled scarab and a golden jackal, one of each. And those are sold down here. If you didn't get these earlier, you know, get them now. They're sold down here by these two vendors. Uh, so make sure that you grab those. You're also going to want six Amulets of Annihilation. I have three. Um, just trade 15 rice for those. The next thing that you're going to want is at least five beads, at least three perfumes, and at least 20 spices. So I'm going to get all of those ingredients here, and then I'm going to meet you in that cave west of Crustacea that I said, you know, hey, I'm going to meet you back here. Um, so I'm just going to meet you there. I've made my way back to this alchemist's cave. Um, I got everything that I needed, so just make sure that you have all the things that I just said before. Um, this is just what it looks like there. So anyway, go ahead and talk to this guy. Oh, really? So the guy that we defeated was our former leader? I thought that was this cleanliness. Huh. Anyway, we get the powerful double drain formula, twice as good as drain. So that's really, really nice. Let's go ahead and equip that. Um, let's see, we could get rid of a couple spells at this point. You can get rid of Escape. We have the we have the Wings. We can get rid of Levitate. We still need Revealer for one other thing. So I'll get rid of both of those spells and go ahead and stick Double Drain on. Um, whereas Drain cost some Roots, which you need for Cure um, and also Heal. And it's also half as powerful as um, Drain. Double Drain costs Ethanol and Vinegar, which you don't need for any other spells. So it's really, really nice to have. So now we have two attack spells. We have Crush and we have Double Drain. Um, yeah, and here again, you can purchase Ethanol if you didn't purchase any back there. But um, I did, so I'm good. Let's go ahead and save. Let's see, we'll stick it right there. And let's be on our way. So we were, die! We were told that um, that a secret passage has appeared north of Horus's camp. That is key. It has appeared to the north, not to the south, not anywhere else. It's appeared to the north. I recall as a child, this took me. This was like painful, painful to find out where to go at this point, because if you actually go into Horus's camp, there's nothing new. If you go north to the Hall of Colossia, there's nothing new. But if you go south to the pyramids, there's some new stuff. Don't ask me why the game decided to do it this way and make things as complicated as humanly possible in the age before the internet. Yeah, and Nintendo Power wasn't exactly uh, easy either. So then whenever you come down here, you're going to realize, oh, hey, there is something new, and you're going to think to yourself, oh, but this cave is to the south. But maybe it was just a translation error. Maybe this is actually the way to go. But guess what? Coming in here will get you slaughtered by those guys. It is not the way to go. We will go there later in the game. Much later. If you want to go in there now and have some fun killing some things, hey, have at it, has crush, you'll be good, you'll be fine. Um, but no, that's not the way that you actually have to go. So, yeah, this is a royal bastard move on the game developer's part. This took me hours of searching as a kid to find. But anyway, you go over here, you now head north through this dry riverbank, and hey, guess what? We're at Horus's camp, and we can head north past here yeah this is kind of ridiculous i think that you guys can feel my pain as we're going through here <laughs> oh could you die thank you but now where do we go i don't see a secret passage oh i'm getting some deja vu whoa holy crap oh my god and they died or we wound up in this cave that's like freaking my emulator out so what i'm going to do is disable the background layer just by pressing the one button and that will get rid of that but anyway what lies beyond this cave is it podunk will we ever get back home find out next time on let's play the secret of evermore this has been david if you like this please like comment and subscribe and have a good day